How Madam Abu Bakr and other informants of bandits are sabotaging the fight against insecurity. Welcome to the news. It is saddening that despite the barbaric attack and killings being carried out by armed bandits in northern Nigeria, some people have failed to see anything wrong with the activities of the armed gangs. Within the year 2021 alone, Bandits operating in different parts of the north, particularly within the northwest region, have killed tens of people and destroyed property worth millions of naira. How will they see when they are benefiting? This is what poverty eh, will bring into somebody's life. Because of what they are gaining, their immediate gain, they don't bother about the killings. The terrorists have also abducted school children in their numbers and demanded ransom in exchange for their freedom. Basically, the armed bandits have turned the region into one of the most unsafe places in the country. Sadly, despite this, some women who ordinarily should understand the damage being done by the bandits, particularly as they affect women and children, have continued to work for the armed gangs. It is even more worrisome that a married woman who is expected to play the role of a murder could go as far as dating one of the bandits in Kaduna Forest and also supplied them with a fellow woman for pleasure. Recall that earlier in the day, uh, Frank Ambar revealed the spokesman of the Nigerian police disclosed the arrest of one Mary Mabubakar, a 39 years married woman whose boyfriend is a bandit. According to the report, Mary whose husband is at home, is dating one of the bandits, and together with some other women, supplies them with food, medical items, and girls for pleasure. They also help the bandits to carry out a survey and provide them with information on the target. This is indeed a sabotage to the government's fight against insecurity in the country. People like Maryam Abubaka, who are working for bandits, either as informants or suppliers of items, are sabotaging government's fight against insecurity in the country. This is because they are contributing to the persistence of banditry in the Northwest region. Arguably, their supplies have made it easier for the armed gangs to survive in the forest. Also, without the information and items being supplied to these bandits by people like Miriam and other informants of the gangs, the bandits may be unable to survive in the forest for long. That is why the act of supplying the bandits with any item is a sabotage to the fight against banditry in the countryside. Therefore, Following the arrest of Miriam and her gang, it is expected that the law will be allowed to take its course. Which law? This will serve as a deterrent to others who may be nursing the idea of aiding the armed gang in one way or the others. This is what happens when a married woman is neglected. I am sure in that in, in the husband's house, she's not the only one. So maybe the man does not have time for her. He has maybe two or three other women at home. So she has to look for means of survival. Well, let's hear what the people are saying. With this one, we are expecting this bandit to reduce. The government of this country, if they really they are really sincere with the way they are trying to eradicate these so-called bandits in this country, they should enact a law that would be death penalty for bandits and those who assisted them. Such like this woman, it is wickedness. They first declared, they first declared them terrorists. Yeah, they have been declared as terrorists. Typical Arewa people hypocrisy. The ostrich game buried the head in the sand. <laughs> they are all full anis. Any woman so called should be treated as a kidnapper and shot. All this preaching to them, granting them amnesty, amnesty, will continue to frustrate all efforts to return the country to sanity. Well, that is the opinion of the people. Kindly make yours known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you. Good day and God bless.